Welcome back to the Pet Hui. I'm Denby Dung and we're here at the Pet Holly in Waikele Center. Up next, this breed looks like a toy. You've seen him on TV saying Yo Quero Taco Bell. Paris Hilton has one named Tinkerbell and I have one named Stitch. Let's find out what it is on this next installment of It's All About the Breed with Malin Moore. And it's all about the Chihuahua. I'm with Stephanie and Ryan, and Ryan, who do we have here? Coffee. How old's Coffee, Stephanie? She's about three years old. Have you had Chihuahuas a long time? Uh, I've had them since I was about 16 years old, 17 years old. And obviously they get along great with Ryan. How are they with kids? For the most part, they're great, uh, especially if they're raised around them. Uh, they tend to do really well. Uh, also, too, if you work with the children, so they handle them appropriately. Usually when you run into problems, it's because they're not used to being around children and they tend to move pretty fast, so. And now here are some more facts about the Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are named for a state in Mexico where they are believed to have originated perhaps as long ago as 300 BC. And they are the smallest breed of dog. It has been a popular breed in the United States since the late 19th century. Being the smallest breed, Chihuahuas are generally 6 to 10 inches high, although some can grow to heights of 12 to 15 inches. They usually weigh no more than 6 pounds, with the preferred weight being from 2 to 4 pounds. There are basically two types, the apple or deer head Chihuahua, one having a short nose and rounded head similar to an apple, the other having longer noses and elongated heads like a deer. They come in two coats the long coat and the smooth coat or short hair. Neither coat requires very much maintenance and they come in a number of colors and patterns. Stephanie, how are they in the house? They tend to be really good as long as they've been housebroken, but with such a small dog, it's a, if you have them in a large house and they haven't been housebroken yet, they're gonna wanna tend to go to the furthest point and so then you'll have more accidents inside than outside. Once they're trained though, they usually are really well behaved. If you have a yard or uh, an area outside your house, can you leave them unsupervised? I uh, highly wouldn't recommend it because they are escape artists and then also you have to worry about predators such as birds um, that can come down and actually snatch them. So places where there are big birds like yes. hawks or eagles. Correct. Are they good by themselves or do they, do they like to have company? They like to have company. They're very much usually people dogs. Um, you hear some dog breeds that are more into other dogs. They like to hang out with other dogs. Chihuahuas tend to be more of a, a people dog. As with other breeds, the temperament of its owner can determine the temperament of the dog. Ill-tempered Chihuahuas can easily be provoked and are not good in homes with children. Chihuahuas generally do not get along very well with other breeds, and if they are with other dogs, they prefer other Chihuahuas. They love their dens and are known for burrowing into piles of laundry, pillows, and bed linens. They will learn tricks and a vocabulary of commands, but they won't fetch. It's often said that if you throw a ball for a Chihuahua to fetch, they'll just look at you thinking, you threw the ball, you go get it. Do they bark very much? They can be barkers. Um, I had one dog that didn't learn to bark until he was two years old. Uh, depends on the situation, but they're very protective so they will bark to let you know that something's not right. But they bite too. Uh, that is true in some cases, but overall they're usually very friendly dogs. It comes down to the same thing. It's like any other breed socialization. If they're not around a lot of people, they tend to be very protective of their owner. If they get out and around other people, they're usually great. Chihuahuas have no idea how small they are and are ready to stand up for themselves even when the opposition is far bigger. They don't rush into confrontation though, they'd rather stand back for a moment and assess the situation. As for health problems, Chihuahuas are prone to dental problems, epilepsy and seizure disorders, and sometimes are born with hydrocephalus, an overly large head, a condition that can often be fatal. Chihuahuas are the only dogs who are born with soft spots in their skulls, much like humans, and must be handled gently for the first six months while their skull is forming. The trembling you see in a Chihuahua is not a health issue, but a condition simply brought on by stress or excitement. They can also suffer from low blood sugar, but that condition can easily be remedied by diet. And now you know all about the Chihuahua. 